Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome biggity, biggity, biggity back, y'all. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Welcome on in. If you're not new here, then of course, girl or guy, whoever, welcome back. It is such a pleasure to have you here. If you do not know, my name is Kelsey and I had VSG surgery a little bit over two years ago and I have lost 125 pounds. It's my hope that through my videos you're able to find the answers to questions you've been looking for or the path to choosing surgical weight loss is made that much easier. Welcome back you guys. Let me, let me take a little sip. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay. So I know it's been about a month. <laughs> Since I posted a video, but but just 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 hear me out. If you if you don't know, I'm married now. <laughs> I got married on the um the 10th of March to my long term partner. Um, we finally just just made it. We we made the damn thing happen. And so I've just taken a little bit of time to get into him, to get into us, to see what it felt like to be a real wife which is really no different than what I was already doing. It's just legal now. Just just joking, but I'm not joking. It's it's, it's fantastic, you guys. I'm so happy. Um, and thank you to all of the love that you guys showed me on my video that I uploaded. Um, it was very sentimental. It was a very private part of my life that I was kind of scared about showing and putting out there because there's such a, um, a wedding-like you know, fad. You have to have the biggest, the best, the most expensive wedding possible. And if you don't, people are looking at you like, mm -hmm, you know, but literally you guys, we have been together as of March the 5th, 12 years, um, been married since March the 5th, a month. <laughs> um, and we just wanted to save money for other things. Like we're taking a really nice honeymoon trip in May. And I just, I'm just not that kind of person. And spending upwards of, you know, eight dollars $9,000 on a wedding when I can plant beautiful hydrangeas in my yard, I just, I just, you know, and, and that's no shade or, you know, nothing to anyone who has a big, beautiful, over-the-top, fantastic, amazing wedding. Do your thing. I'm just not that kind of person. And luckily, my partner or my husband is not either. So, um, thank you guys so much for the love. And should I take these off? Let me know in the next video. I love them. I love my Alex Nani bracelets, but they are loud. They're loud. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, as you can tell from the title of the video today, we're going to be talking about the importance of vitamins or if vitamins are even important after weight loss surgery. And I think it's a, t a really important topic to talk <laughs> A really important topic to talk about because, and this is based off of my experience. I'm speaking from what I've done as a bariatric patient or what I've experienced as a bariatric patient and why they can kind of fall to the wayside. So everybody, pretty much everybody, we who is not bariatric surgery related, they take vitamins. You take vitamins and, you know, you choose, you get on the health kick. You're like, yeah, I'm going to take a multivitamin every day. It's going to become a part of my regimen. I'm going to do this. And they take vitamins for a week. And then they miss a week and then they, you know, maybe get, they may pick it back up. They may not, whatever. And they'll never know the difference. With bariatric patients, it's a little bit different. Um, well, it's a lot of bit different. You take your vitamins and you're told, take your vitamins, take your vitamins, take your vitamins. Um, because it's very important because it can lead to serious and long-term deficiencies. And <clears throat> I think we get into, at least with me, we get into the normalcy of weight loss surgery. We get into the normalcy of, you know, whatever it is. And the vitamins, they just kind of take a back seat if you do not have a structured and a put together routine. I think it's important to really drill in or hone in on the fact that once you have bariatric surgery, your body as a whole changes. As Amber Lynn Reed so graciously said, it changes your whole anatomy. Um... And your body reacts differently to food and also to vitamin and nutrient intake. So that is why you have to continue to take your multivitamins every day for the rest of your life to prevent deficiencies. And if you don't take your multivitamins, your vitamins can't help you. So 
what happens if you don't take vitamins after surgery? So I was able to sit down with my nutritionist and also a couple other medical professionals. And we were able to sit down and talk about vitamin deficiencies that weight loss surgery patients can form if they do not take their, their multivitamins, which is inevitable. So the first one that we're going to talk about is an iron deficiency. Stomach acid is lessened greatly after weight loss surgery, except for with the lap band. And because of this, it is harder for our bodies to convert dietarily maintained or absorbed iron from foods like meat, beans, nuts, and other vegetables to a usable form of iron. To compound this, gastric bypass patients also have the portion of their stomach that is mainly responsible for absorbing iron removed. So that's a double whammy. Iron deficiency is a form of anemia, which is really not uncommon with weight loss surgery patients and also non-weight loss surgery patients. There are lots of weight loss surgery patients who find out that they are anemic way before they even consider having weight loss surgery. I'm one of those people. Those who have low iron tend to feel lethargic, weak, and they're always cold. I am always freezing. And I'm not just like, I'm not talking about like the normal amount of freezing. I'm talking about cold to my bones, you guys. I have to go and get in the shower sometimes to regulate my body temperature. I am anemic and it really affects the levels in my body. Iron is crucial. It took me a long time to get that word out. Iron is crucial to the creation and the absorption of red blood cells in your body, which carry oxygen all over the place. They're vital. They are so important. Iron is also important to your body's detox detoxification, growth, and healing. Patients with anemia and also very high iron deficiencies can see issues with their hair, skin, and nails. I'm going to tell you a story about that when it comes to me as well. More seriously, a deficiency with iron can cause heart palpitations and shortness of breath. This is what can happen if you don't take your multivitamin. Your iron, which is very important to your healing, detoxification, oxygen getting to your entire body, your red blood cells being able to be able to be produced, who carry that oxygen to your body. It can affect your hair, your skin, your nails. There's so many things that are tied to iron. Take your multivitamin. The second vitamin deficiency we're going to talk about is your B vitamin deficiency. Typically, B vitamins process through the stomach. And as the same with your iron, that part or those acidic juices are removed or they're, they're significantly lowered when you have weight loss surgery procedures. So your body is not able to break down the food and get that usable form of your B vitamins to distribute throughout your body. Any signs of a B12 or a B vitamin deficiency can take many years to present itself. It could take a really long time to be able to be, you know, told, hey, you have a B, a B vitamin deficiency. This is what we need to do. That's why it's so important to make sure you maintain your follow-ups with your provider because a lot of times weight loss surgery patients will see a high level of B vitamins or B12 vitamins in their blood, but that does not mean that you have an overabsorption of B12. That just means that it's highly present in your bloodstream because you're taking supplements. Pernicious anemia is the medical term to define a B12 deficiency. More often than not, weight loss surgery patients can deform. More often than not, weight loss surgery patients can develop a deficiency with B9 called a folate deficiency. And this is basically when your folate levels dip below the normal range. Our thiamine levels, which is B1, can also be depleted if you are not taking your multivitamins. Initially, a B12 depletion or low levels can present itself as tiredness, paleness, weakness, lethargic, just a lot of different things that may not automatically be associated with a low B12 or B vitamin level, but it should be considered, especially if you are a weight loss surgery patient. It's really important to take it into consideration because having a low level of these particular vitamins can cause nerve problems, depression, memory lapses, numbness, tingling, and vision loss. So once again, just not trying to scare you guys, but really just trying to put you on game, especially if you ever, ever, ever think that uh, my vitamins really aren't important today. Let me not, you know, it's okay if I skip them. Let me just set them to the side. They're not really that big of a deal. Please, but please, I'm begging you, take your vitamins. Last but not least, we're going to talk about another very, very, very important vitamin duo, and that is going to be your calcium and your vitamin D levels. 
when your body it cannot produce enough calcium, it begins to steal it from other parts of your body, meaning like your teeth, your bones, um, other areas where calcium is highly concentrated, which can cause issues for you as a patient, as a person. For bariatric patients, there's already a heightened fear of bone issues or just calcium deficiencies or bone density problems because of the nature of our surgery and vitamin deficiencies that will naturally occur. A lack of calcium, as you all know, can lead to degenerative diseases like osteoporosis, as well as an increased likeliness for fractured and broken bones. Calcium regulates the heart rate and also nerve transmission. Without it, there could be serious complications. Vitamin D is necessary for the body to be able to absorb calcium. It doesn't matter if you drink 10 gallons of milk a day. If you're not getting vitamin D, you are not going to be able to adequately absorb the calcium that your body needs to be able to stay strong and growing. Is that what that was? The Flintstones commercial jingle? Probably not, but that's just what, I, that's what I'm hearing. To stay strong and growing. You didn't ask for that, but you got it. Additionally, vitamin D also has links to cancer prevention and can also heighten your chances for the reducing or the reduction of your chances to have dementia and other memory loss related issues. Vitamin D deficient patients can also experience chronic pain, weakness, frequent irritations, and also frequent bouts with depression. I think it's so important that we understand that vitamins are vital. I mean, I think that that's that's such a, what is it, a, a redundant thing to say. Vitamins are vital, um, and it's because they are. Um, for me, I don't know what happened, you guys. Um, initially, beginning my, you know, my weight loss surgery journey, I was gung-ho, get in your vitamins, I gotta get my vitamins, my vitamins, my vitamins. And it's just like, over time, because my body felt so good, I, um stopped placing as much emphasis on vitamins as I should have. And um, and you guys, you, I, I never come on camera and ever try to present myself as a perfect creator or as a um, the, the star weight loss surgery patient that gets a gold star every time she talks to her surgeon, surgeon or her nutritionist. I never come and portray that to you guys because that's not who I am. Um, I have mentioned in previous videos that I struggled with vitamin intake and there was a point in time I would think for about six months I stopped taking my vitamins and I was just like because in my mind and this was last year it was late like uh I would say I'm just gonna go from June or July of last year to the end of the year and I stopped consistently taking my vitamins um, I stopped consistently um, getting my protein and that's just because number one, I was being just completely irresponsible, irrational, just not thinking through what I could have been doing to my body. And so everything was great. And I think that I had mentioned to you guys that my hair had started to fall out. And when I say, and, and at that point, I'm a year and a half out from surgery. I'm like, why is this happening? You know, this didn't happen in the beginning. I was so careful. You know, I took all of my vitamins. Why is this happening now? Kelsey, it's happening because you're not taking your vitamins now. Hey guys, excuse how I'm looking. I know I don't look as dapper as I do in the video, but I kind of bounce back and forth about showing you guys this because I'm just so self-conscious about certain things but I just wanted to show you guys how thin my edges got um and I'm not just talking like here my edges thinned from here to about here and I was also having some severe thinning in my crown y'all my hair has significantly thickened but look at this you can tell how thin they are please don't judge me don't talk about me please um and I and when my edges were so thin that they were like, there was no hair there. It was just like skin. Um, I knew something was wrong. So please don't be like me. Take your vitamins, please. And um, for some reason that the math didn't math with me until it was too late. You guys, um, legitimately my hair fell out. And my hair was the number one thing that suffered initially. And I still, at that point, I still didn't start taking my vitamins because, as I mentioned, I didn't put together no vitamins. Your hair is falling out. This is why this is happening. 
take your vitamins. You need your vitamins. Take your vitamins. It did not click with me. So time progressed on. And as you guys know, I have, I have been an avid acrylic nail wearer. I think that I have, at the most, I probably went four months. No acrylic nail, nothing on my nail, no pedicure. And that was just me trying to challenge myself to see how long I could go without getting a pedicure or manicure, whatever. <clears throat> so another thing I started noticing, my nails were so thin, like paper thin. Like when I, I remember going in and the tech was taking the, the gel polish off of my nails and she says to me, whoa, your, your toenails are very thin, you, you know, did you do something to your nails? And I'm like, no, what do you mean thin? And I watched her file my toe and it was like my nail, it, I can't, I like, I cannot explain it. You could touch, you could like bend my nail. My nail was so thin, not only on my toenails, but on my fingers as well. And that's when it became a reality to me, a reality to me that something was going on. So I scheduled a visit with my surgeon and with my nutritionist and we did some blood work and I was super low on all of my levels, which is expected because I was not taking my multivitamins. And what's so ironic about that is I am sponsored by probably one of the best bariatric vitamin companies on in my opinion on the market right now they provide vitamins to me as a bariatric patient and i was just choosing not to take them not because they were gross or because it was an inconvenience but because i didn't feel that i needed them how ignorant can we be as patients you know we think we know everything and we think that everything is just going to be okay but there are there's reasons that these rules are put into place right and it, it was just ironic to me that I have vitamins that are provided for me. I don't have to to purchase these, you know, expensive vitamins that, that can be, you know, such a financial burden on other patients. And I was choosing to hurt myself unknowingly. I was self-sabotaging. Even though I was eating right, even though I was maintaining my exercise levels, and even though I was being respectful to my body, I was not doing the one thing that my nutritionist beat into my head every day. If you don't do anything, if you eat cookie cake every day, and if you eat junk food every day, take your vitamins because your body is not going to be the same. And I broke that rule and my body paid the price. So from, I would say about January of this year, um, I have been taking my vitamins the way that I'm supposed to be. And I can definitely see that my levels have began to level out and I am no longer fighting my body and my body is no longer like, Hey, I can't, I can't do this anymore. You know, I'm missing all these vitamins. My hair has started to come back in. My nails have begun to strengthen back up. And I know that it's going to take a while before that deficiency is corrected because I created such a big dip in my level so i didn't add this into my video but i wanted to show you guys my current vitamin routine um this is what i use every day my vitamins have diminished greatly <laughs> because i no longer use as many vitamins as i was i was doing the chewable meltable vitamins vitamins from berry melts and now i am just using um the chewable sugar bear hair vitamins as well as the um berry melts step up the step up once a day multivitamin so this is just a one capsule um bariatric multivitamin i love this vitamin you guys it doesn't give me that weird drooly like upset stomach feeling and i get my vitamins in in just one and this baby right here focus up it has 45 milligrams of iron like fantastic the only thing is and this is not a berry milk thing this is a vitamin thing especially let me show you if it's not a um a coated capsule um it tastes like vitamins and i hate it so much i struggle so bad taking these because of the vitamin taste but it has nothing to do with the brand it's literally any vitamin 
that is not like a capsule this is just like you know an uncoated capsule that is the only thing that i i don't like but it doesn't deter me from taking them because they're great and they give me everything i need in one pill so if you're looking for a multivitamin that is just a one step these are a great addition if you are not taking your vitamins and if you feel like you don't need your vitamins to be able to sustain and that you're doing well, you're losing weight, you're, you know, you're maintaining your weight loss, please, by all means, please take your vitamins. From somebody who struggled with being able to maintain that, it's so important that you do and that you continue to be consistent because they, they definitely are needed in this process. For most of us, preventing a deficiency is easy. You take your vitamins, you live your life, and you don't stop. <laughs> Every day for the rest of your life, take your vitamins. Don't stop. However, everyone is unique and our bodies are different and our journeys are different. Sometimes we may need a little bit more of this vitamin or a little less of this vitamin, but that's up to your doctor and your health professional to help you determine. Don't just take it into your own hands. Don't be a Kelsey and do whatever you feel like you need to do. Do what you're supposed to do. It is also important that you take a bariatric specific vitamin. A regular multivitamin is typically not going to have the levels of certain vitamins that you need to be able to sustain. These vitamins that are bariatric friendly, they are tailored to us. So if you don't try berry milks, make sure that it's a bariatric specific vitamin that you can use because it's made for you and it's made for you as a, a weight loss surgery patient opposed to a regular everyday multivitamin that you can get from Walmart or whatever that's not really made for a bariatric patient. It doesn't have the right levels. I stress this because I understand just how much not having the right levels of a certain vitamin can affect you. Keep in mind that vitamins are stored in different ways in our bodies and deficiencies can show up in different ways over time. So just because you may not be taking your vitamins right now and you may not be a case like me where your hair starts to fall out or your nails immediately be start, start to become thin, that doesn't mean that you're not having a deficiency in a vitamin. Certain vitamin deficiencies can take years to develop. So don't allow your body to get to a point where you have no more of that particular vitamin or you're not able to find that particular vitamin in, in any aspect of your body before you're like, you know what? It may be time for me to take some vitamins. Don't allow your body to become completely depleted before you're like, okay, this is serious. I need to take my vitamins. If you don't do anything, if you don't exercise, if you don't eat healthy, if you don't do anything correct or if you do not follow your weight loss surgeon's plan, take your vitamins it is so 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 important you guys so so important the human body is such a complex organism and our stomach plays a huge role in the absorption and the distribution of, of vitamins throughout and unfortunately with bariatric surgery we change that and so we have to replace those vitamins minerals and nutrients with our you know our bariatric vitamins and if we don't we can then suffer serious and long-term consequences for that. And we don't want that to happen. My main goal here, my main focus here is to give you guys great information that you can use as a bariatric patient should you be struggling or not understanding things that come upon you or you have a question and you're like, well, why do I have to keep doing this? I can't afford the vitamins, it's too much. It is so important that you do. I hope that you're able to find some information and you're able to take a little bit from my videos um, and just based off of my experience, I hope that I'm able to share a little bit of light with you. If you haven't and you would like to, please make sure to hit that like button. Become a member of my family. I would love to have you here. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if you are needing some advice, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Kelsey hasn't posted a video in a month. And I have a question. You can head on over to Facebook at One Bite at a Time. That is my Facebook group that I created. We are at 1,400,000. 1,400 members. Um, I think I started this group... A couple of months after, I feel like the group has been around for maybe a year, year and a half. I'm not sure. I may be wrong. It may be longer. Um, but every day we grow. 
Um, and there's always a conversation. There's always somebody there to answer questions. If it's not me, it's one of my great moderators who come every day. They show up, they show out. There's a wonderful support system there where you guys can have questions answered. You guys can talk about things that are on your mind. And it's not always weight loss surgery related. Sometimes you just need someone to hear you out and be there for you when you're going through something. And that is what a community is. You can go over, you can follow me at one bite at a time. I'm there sporadically. I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm not there as, like, as much as I'd like to be, but I am there. Um, join over there on One Bite at a Time. We would love to have you there. It's a fantastic, fantastic place. It's a safe place to talk about hard things, not just weight loss surgery related. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, hit the dislike button. It lets me know you're not feeling it. You want something different. If you liked it, hit that like button. I like to hear the feedback. Should I keep them on or should I get rid of them? Because you are loud. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Initially, a B12 dude... Initially, a B12 depletion can present itself as paleness, tired, tired...